Delphi and I have traveled a few hours west. We're moose hunting, we're grouse hunting, we're bear hunting. And here's our first grouse. So hang around with us and see where this adventure goes. There's a second one. Headshot. Nice spruce grouse. Oh, sorry, a nice rough grouse. I've got spruce grouse in the brain because we're far enough north that we might see a few here. Two. Shaping up to be a good trip. Got the pump with me. Keep this guy charged up. Uh, I took one, two, three, four shots on it. So it still has pressure, but I just want to keep it pumped up for the next grouse that we see. And this is a special pump for PCP rifles. It pumps up to 200 bar. And what I've noticed is that with the weight that I've lost in this big wild year of only eating wild foods, I'm almost not heavy enough to pump it up to 200 bar. I have to lift my feet off the ground. So if you weighed, weighed less than 150 pounds, you might want to consider getting a uh, electric pump, which they sell, but I wanted a portable manual one. Okay, so we've popped over to another spot now. We're going to try this low-lying area just past this clear cut. Uh, I've got a couple hours till dark anyway, so we'll see what we see. Spot here, so there's Delphi. Lots of dry swamp. It's wet back in that corner. Some good hardwood hills around too. So she's gonna call from this location and we'll see if we get some answers. So we hunted for about two hours, an hour and a half, two hours. Uh, nothing much happened, but it was really promising there. There was tracks, there was good habitat, felt like a likely spot, good sight lines. So our plan is to set up camp and then we are going to go back there first thing in the morning and try it again. And then when we run out of time, we'll hunt birds on our way back home. And uh, just a quick two day trip. So we found a really nice camp spot, but um, there was somebody already set up there. <laughs> so we came down these little side roads and this one here, uh, this is a jack pine plantation with a few red pines mixed in. And I guess nobody's much using this road because there's a big log log across it. And it's nice and soft and open under there. So we're gonna set up our tent and there's lots of dry firewood. There's a good little sandy patch just over here on the road, so we'll make ourselves a little fire. Uh, but we also uh, have the propane stove and my little camping tank. And Delphine pre-cooked our supper, so all we have to do is heat it up. So we'll have a quick cook up and then a leisurely campfire. That should be all right. Right. <laughs> it's 
squeaky trees. We looked out for weather today too. It was uh, yeah, I know. not a good forecast, but we got lots of sunny breaks with uh, cloudy periods. But I think there was a chance of a thunderstorm tonight, and uh, or rain anyway. If not so nice tomorrow. It's supposed to be cold. A high of eight degrees, maybe. Which means it's probably going to be chilly tonight. Might we might get a frost. We'll be cozy in our tents. Our tent. Good. Get rid of all the warm stuff. So maybe while Delphi is setting up the bed, I'll cut some firewood and get our spot ready for a campfire and set up the propane stove. Got this propane uh, stove for five bucks or ten bucks at the yard sale, which is a pretty good deal. Works really nice. And uh, the uh, five pound tank is perfect for this kind of camping. That's enough enough gas for a few days of cooking. So that back, back there. This adapter is really handy. There, good. Good. Park that I grabbed uh, where we were hunting grouse because I didn't know if we would uh, find any at our campsite wherever we chose to camp and that worked out because I don't see too many birch trees around.
There it goes. Oh, um, it's all kind of a mess from the last time you went. Yeah, forgot to wash it. Mm -hmm. We're going to get a shot of that supper. Because it looks so good. Ooh, two little grouse. Those are the yesterday's grouse, not mm -hmm. today's grouse. With the mushrooms that we found. And all the mushrooms we found. And some dried meat. Some great apple juice. Water, salt. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. And here, mm -hmm. it's not even hot yet. Some rice with this. Okay. It's pretty clear on it, but oh yeah. This rice has cake. Um, oh, I feel the heat from this already. Like oil and the butter, no oh, the hickory nut. Yeah. That sounds good too. same food today which is that we had a little morning snack of three maple candies each mm -hmm. and then we had an afternoon snack of some walnuts. Oh you had um, a liver and I didn't. Oh yeah I, I ate a fresh liver out of one of the grouse and we had the walnuts applesauce maple mm -hmm. syrup and I had bear fat with mine. I would have had one. Would you have? There's still one in there. I think I've offered it. There's today's two. And we're going to put them in the pot and cook them up for maybe, tomorrow. Yeah, maybe grab a little of that sweet corn and we'll throw it in. Oh. Okay. Uh, sweet fern. Right over here. You don't have to go too far. In fact, one thing we should do tomorrow is pick our winter supply of sweet fern, seeing as how it's so abundant. Enough. Oh yeah, I'm so ready to eat.
spray my hoops off a little bit. Mm -hmm. Looks good, babe. So I forgot to bring a spoon and mm -hmm. uh, we stopped at a convenience store by a gas station on the way here and they had nothing. And then we stopped at a trading post, which mm -hmm. was like a gift shop. Mm -hmm. They had lots of fancy Leather, stuff there. moccasins, quill work, and then like other gifty things. Yeah. Christmas decorations, cottage decorations, yeah. decor stuff. And I found this, I think it was called a like a mini spatula mm -hmm. something. Melamine. It was the closest thing to a spoon, so I'm just shoveling food in my mouth with this. It works. Mm -hmm. The rice is really good. I think we have 90 days left in the big wild year. Is October the second. Mm -hmm. Get close to the end. Much closer to the end than to the start, which seems like a long time ago. But in other ways, it's like where did all the time go? Oh, I know. <laughs> Picking and processing, <clears throat> cooking and eating. Oh, that's too hot for my feet. Yeah, and we're just at the start of hunting season. We have 14 grouse so far and two ducks. Mm -hmm. We were loaded for everything on this trip. Yes. <laughs> so Delphine's got her <clears throat> rifle and her shotgun. And I brought my shotgun and my Leshy, the air rifle. Uh, and I have duck loads and grouse loads because I thought, well, we might get to a pond full of geese, maybe ducks. And then what did you say to me when we were driving away this morning? Oh, we forgot our fishing rods. Oh yeah. Yeah, as if we were going to have For time. For a 24 to, hour trip. Yeah. Um, but we wanted to be ready for anything. And I brought the air rifle because mainly Delphine's hunting a moose. Yep. And I didn't want to miss opportunities to shoot grouse and hares. And that air rifle is super duper quiet. So I felt like I could shoot at stuff all day long and I'm not going to spook other animals. Uh, it's just like a twig snap when it goes off. So it's really handy for that and it's super accurate. So I made two headshots on two grouse. It's super accurate or you're super accurate? Uh, you know, it's a, it's a team effort. It's a combo. Not super accurate with the shotgun lately. <clears throat> Missed a couple grouse uh, yesterday when we were out. So did I. Um, yeah. <laughs> But, uh, but we were ready for anything. And if we do get a moose or, or a bear, bear season's open and we have our tags. Uh, we brought tarps and we brought a painter's drop cloth. So we have some nice clean canvas. And the plan is ultimately to sew a couple of game bags with that, right? Mm -hmm. So we have uh, game bags to put quarters of animals in if we're far from home and want to be able to transport them cleanly. What else do we bring? About everything. Uh -huh. Tent and sleeping bags and so we're all set. I don't know how late we're gonna stay up. Not very. I don't think so. It's gonna be dark soon anyway and we want to be up early enough to hit that same spot and uh, so our supper plan is to eat grouse, cook grouse. Maybe practice on that booth call a couple times. Yeah. <clears throat> See if we can get it. Yeah, so that's the one that was sent to us from uh, airgunsource.ca. That's where I got the leshy from and the scope, and also the seat pad that I'm sitting on. The also backpack. the backpack that I've been carrying all day. Mm -hmm. uh, so they sent a lot of goodies, which were in a previous video that I posted. So again, thanks to uh, those guys at airgunsource.ca, Kirk and Company. Um, and
started. Uh, I lost my train of thought. The moose call. Oh yeah, the moose call. Yeah, so Delphine's gonna practice on that until she sounds like a <laughs> wanted moose. Mm -hmm. Draws them all in. I think I can. Yep. All right. I want to eat instead of talking. So, camera's going off. Probably no more updates tonight. We will check back in in the morning. You saw the cake. We're going to eat it. I'm not going to show it again. And we're going to cook some dandelion root coffee, I think is the plan. Eh? Mm -hmm. I think it's darker now than when we signed off last night. Which wasn't quite the end of our night because right after we turned off the camera, we heard some geese on the pond. Well, I assume there's a pond behind us somewhere. So we went for a quick walk before it got actual dark. But the trail petered out, so we couldn't... I uh, forgot that I had that on. We couldn't get to the pond or swamp or whatever was there. So we came back and finished supper. Not quite finished. Not quite. Yeah, there's a little bit of cake left over, so I was going to have a little snack this morning. And then we heard geese go by in the night. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. Yeah, they must have gone right over. Could be going to that other... Maybe. Where we're going? Yeah. That'd be alright. Like goose or moose? Goose or moose? Well, it's good yeah. Be good. Oh. Here comes the rain again. Yeah, there's like the tiniest little sprinkle of rain. There was the tiniest sprinkle of rain in the night. Twice. But uh, our tent was dry when we got up this morning. So that was good. Well, we got up at 6.30, rolled out of bed, got a fire going, tent's all packed up, coffee, dandelion root coffee is made. It's uh, seven, quarter past seven. We're, we're just about ready to go, so. We'll let the fire burn down and then pack up the rest of our stuff and head back over to the moose swamp and try our luck there. So we're not moose hunting experts, but a lot of people say if you call in the evening, there'll be a moose there in the morning. We we're kind of hoping that there'd be a moose there while we were calling, but there wasn't. But got our fingers crossed that one got curious through the night and came by and I've been to meadows like that so where we were you saw it's kind of like a dry meadow uh, and then it's wet at the farther end where there's still a bit of a beaver dam I guess uh, but moose will bed down in that too sometimes all you see is their ears sticking up out of the grass with our antlers so we'll watch for that as we're coming down the trail yeah Hopefully the rain holds off. This is our spot. There are a few little blue patches in the sky, but it's mostly overcast, so I don't know what we're in for exactly, but we should be dressed for the weather. And I think the wind is still good for us to sit in the same spot where we were last time, but we're trying to be conscious of the wind and where our scent's going when we're hiding out. Delphi's all ready. She just racked one in there. We're gonna get at it. There's an older moose track there. There's another one that shows pretty good over here. And another one here. Another one here, and one going the other way. And there's quite a few more we'll closer to this one as well.
start raining ice pellets. See them on the backpack. Temperature dropped, the wind picked up. And then ice pellets. Oh, let's delve me up to you. Maybe had enough of the ice pellets. Nope, oh, she's in a shifting position. I haven't really heard anything yet except after she was calling, a raven came by and scoped her out. Took a wrong trail. So Delphine is sitting tight at the swamp and I went out to shoot some birds and I did get one. Um, brought it back to the truck, went down, checked on the swamp, and then I looped back around because they had been eating some. Uh, mountain ash and I thought they'd come back to the same spot and I didn't see one but I heard some drumming and the first time I went out I found a little old quad trail that took me right back to the truck and so I found a quad trail and I thought oh this will take me back to the same quad trail that took me back to the truck and it took me all the way around maybe almost a kilometer away right back to where we were camped out so I'm just hiking down the, well, what I'm going to call the main road. It's not much of a road. And head back to the truck and head down and check on Delphine. So we uh, really after that just got back in the truck and drove ourselves home. The uh, We didn't have a lot of success moose hunting. But uh, we got some grouse, explored some new territory, had a great camp out. And, uh, you know, despite the weather, we ended up having a really good time. And that's just the way hunting goes sometimes. Um, so it's really important to appreciate all the other aspects of it and not just have your heart set on um, getting that moose at the end. So uh, from, from this adventure, we've uh, leapt into some other adventures. So if you keep watching on the channel, you're going to see some waterfowl hunting with Steve Funfer coming up. Um, I went and did some crossbow hunting with the Wooded Beardsman as part of season six of the Wilderness Living Challenge. Um, and uh, right now, because I'm just catching up on some video, we're in the middle of our rifle season for uh, white-tailed deer. So if you like what you see, subscribe, turn on the notifications, all that kind of stuff. You know what to do and uh, watch for us on our live streams and we'll chat.